Welcome back to Bluetti Support. Today we'll guide you step by step to install your EP6K energy storage system. This all-in-one home energy solution combines inverter and battery in one unit. You can connect up to 5 units in parallel as your energy needs grow. Power is managed by the AT1 Smart Distribution Panel, keeping all your home appliances running smoothly. Paired with your rooftop solar EP6K turns sunshine into reliable backup, whether for your whole home or just the essentials. Before you begin, take a moment to read the user manual and safety notes. Always have a licensed electrician handle the installation, that's the safest way to go. And choose a location that meets the installation requirements. For wall mounting, you'll need at least 2,872 cubic feet of clearance. And here are the tools you'll need. Time to unbox. Make sure everything's included. If anything's missing or damaged, our support team is just a call or click away. Floor mounting is also supported with optional accessories available on our website. Here are the accessories that come with the AT1. When it's time to install, bring in a licensed electrician or installer. Just go over your load needs together and you'll have everything ready to go. In this video, we'll use three EP6K units and the AT1 as an example. Need more power? Hooking up four or five units works the same way, just follow the diagram. You can install them on the wall or on the floor, whichever fits your space. For wall mounting, here's a quick five-step process. Move the EP6K close to the installation spot. Unscrew the side connectors and remove the wall brackets. Keep all four screws for later. Adjust using a level. Mark where to drill. Then secure the bracket using M8 expansion bolts. Lift, align, and gently lower the unit onto the bracket for a secure fit. Fasten the side connectors with the screws you removed earlier. Repeat the same steps for the other two units and you're done. 
If you're mounting on the floor, check the link in the description to order the accessories and follow the manual guide. Before setting up the AT1, let's take a quick look at its ports. Remove the door first. There are six screws total, two at the top, two in the middle, and two at the bottom. Unscrew the five M4 Phillips screws to take off the front panel. Now plan your cable routes, side or rear. Keep in mind once you open an entry there's no going back. To pop out a knockout, place a flathead screwdriver on the edge from the outside and give it a firm tap. Mark the right spots with the positioning sheet. Drill the holes. Then set the expansion bolts. With your partner, lift the AT1 into place and secure it with four corner nuts. Then add breakers for your AC coupled solar system, generator, smart loads and energy storage system depending on your setup. Heads up, never connect cables directly to the bus bars. Install the grid and backup load breakers according to your needs. If not in use you can. Directly connect the power cable to the terminal. Time to tackle the wiring. Let's see how it works with a partial backup setup. Get your neutral, live and ground wires ready. Connect your AC coupled solar system to the first AC PV breaker. Next, wire in the remaining cables as shown. Hook up the generator to the second breaker. Smart loads like your EV charger go on the third. Now, connect three EP6K units to the ESS breakers. Start by paralleling two units through the AC combiner box. Remove the AC circuit breaker cover plate from the Energy Pro 6K and run the wires from each unit into the combiner box.
Then, send L1 and L2 to the ESS1 breaker with neutral and ground connected to the bus bar. Connect the third EP6K unit to the ESS2 breaker the same way. Link all three EP6K units to the AT1's COM port with the communication cable. That wraps up the ESS side. Now let's put the side covers back on the EP6K units. Still remember them? Connect L2 from the subpanel to the left of the backup load breaker, and L1 to the right. Do the same for the main panel to the grid breaker. If you're testing, or if the AT1 isn't acting as service equipment, remember to remove the neutral ground bonding jumper. For the external antenna, give it a solid attach and keep it dry. Wiring is done. Just put the AT1's front panel and door back on, and you're good to go. Before startup, double check that everything's ready. Begin with all breakers off. Turn on the AT1 system switch and close the grid breaker. The grid indicator should light on and the error indicator should stay off after a moment. Close the breakers one by one, backup load, ACPV generator, smart backup load and finally ESS. And don't forget the ones on the EP6K units. Connect the AT1 to the app. A quick flash on the comm indicator means you're connected, and a steady light shows it's connected to the cloud. Before your first run, update to the latest firmware in the app to get the best experience. You're all set with your Bluetti EP6K system. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button to stay updated, and drop your thoughts in the comments. Thanks for watching.